Hello, 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 and welcome to episode 15 of Radio Free Filler. Wait a minute. What are you doing? I'm doing the song acapella style. Acapella? Yeah, man, you know, without instrumental accompaniment. Why? I don't know, man. Nobody would play with me. Why are you doing it solo? Uh, nobody would sing with me either. I guess I'm just too hip for them. That must be it. Now, let me me get get back back into it. I got got a big big finish. finish. Is it really necessary? Oh, man. Why do you have to do that? You just just killed killed my vibe. You just killed my opening. You just busted busted my groove. Is that even a thing? You just just moused moused my cheese. You just ran out of time. And there he goes. Nobody can tell me I moused their cheese. I'm a professional. Can we get on to the next bit? Okay, here goes. It's a dramatic piece called The Curse. You're not supposed to give away the title. Why not? It's the punchline. Oh, I see. Well then, just listen to this. And now, coming to you live from our faraway broadcast tower, it's time for... The Faraway Radio Variation. Quick, say something to fill time. They're not ready yet. Yes, yes, it is indeed time. That is, time, with a capital T. Time, which waits for no man. Or or woman. Time. Terrible, terrible time. Time with a capital T. In fact, time with all capital letters. Time with maybe even an exclamation point. Time which not only waits for no man or for no woman, not even children and certain household pets are exempt. Except, possibly, cats. Who can tell? Uh, Yes, cats. Cats with a capital C. How it all started, I do not know. You see, I had this cat once. Never mind, they've started. Nor can I say for certain how it will end. What kind of cat? Shh! I was just asking. I can only tell you what little I can recall. It was springtime. That unpredictable time of year. So I sought refuge in another location. I said refuge, not refuse. Sorry, sorry, we'll fix it in post. I had recently enjoyed a splendid breakfast at a sidewalk cafe beside the left bank. I was waiting for the garçon to bring me the check when a strange feeling came over me. (laughs) Not that strange. That's not quite it, either. No, and it wasn't the trots. All right, that will do. There I sat, and I began to wonder. 
What was I doing there anyway? And I seemed to hear a voice, a mysterious voice, that seemed to come from nowhere. And it said, You're waiting for a waiter, and that's kind of weird when you think about it. I mean, isn't the waiter supposed to do all the waiting? On the other hand, when someone's hungry, they don't want the waiter to wait, they want them to hurry up and bring the food already. I began to search my thoughts, to concentrate on my senses, to try to establish the source of this strange voice. And another thing, the waiter is going to bring you the check, but just you try paying it with your own check. Oh no, you've got to come up with all kinds of ID, or maybe even pay with cash or plastic. You just better hope you've got something other than a check if you don't want to end up washing dishes. But to no avail. The voice went on and on, a voice that no one else seemed to hear. Monsieur, the reckoning. Do you hear that? Beg pardon, monsieur? That mysterious voice. Do you hear it? Is monsieur feeling quite well? Never mind. Here, keep the change. A thousand thanks, monsieur. If monsieur thinks I'm going to admit hearing that voice, monsieur is crazy. No, monsieur must never know. It is all too horrible. Too horrible. Excuse me, can you try to keep it down over there? Your mysterious voice is frightening the children. What? Oh, excuse me. I was just leaving. And so I wandered along the streets of the city. And so I wandered along the sidewalks of the city. What a jerk! <laughs> trying to understand, trying to come to grips with this strange new experience. And still the voice continued. You know what your problem is? I'll tell you what your problem is. You don't think enough about cats. Here there was this perfectly good cat story just getting started, and I'm all ready to jump in, but oh no, all of a sudden it's showtime, the great big broadcast, and everything has to stop for that. And by the way, I didn't really get shot. That was just the sound effects man trying to patch things over and me being polite. But if you think I'm going to be quiet forever, you'd better think again, and again, and again, and again, and again. And that was when I realized that I was suffering from... The Curse of the Haunted Stomach. Oh, stop complaining. It's better than La Turista. We interrupt this program to bring you something better. The Curse of the Self-Hiding Coffee Cup. Let's see. Where did I put that thing? Thank you, thank you to all our cast and crew, including special guest Orson Whale. And now we'd like to carry on with our newest teenage singing sensation, Billy Bean, who certainly knows how. Knows how to do what? Why, carry on, of course. What am I supposed to do to this music? What am I supposed to do? Tell me. I'm not 
Yes, the joys of teenage confusion. Billy Bean, everybody. Here's hoping he never figures it out. Why not? Well, partly so he can keep on entertaining everyone. Any other reason? I have a teenage daughter who probably knows where he wants to go. <laughs> not to change the subject or anything, but do we have a closing song so we can leave everyone with some words of comfort? Well, no, actually, but there is this. You want a companion by your side each day, a kindred spirit to call your own. Oh, I have the answer, but not the solution. You're born and you die alone. But not the solution you lose it all in the end People want to see what people want to see And there's usually someone to find it And when people show people what people want to see There's usually something they're hiding behind it Usually someone to tell them And when people tell people what people want to hear There's usually something they're trying to sell them You can.